Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide and we are on December 9th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day and welcome to a world update, looking at space weather, extreme weather from around the world. Yes, we did have quite an event, an earth facing solar flare, we're observing here 511 angstroms as well a coronal hole just above it. That's right. This was a C-class Earth-facing solar flare. We are expecting the solar wind speeds and stream tonight. So stay safe, stay aware, prepared. These are the incoming images, 304 angstroms. Outgoing images here. That large C-class solar flare was Earth-facing. We haven't had an Earth-facing event like this since 2016. So stay aware because things will be changing within the next eight hours as we expect the solar wind speed around 2200 UTC. Also observing here bottom left side some more energy coming in possible active sunspot region. Looking here at Lasco 2 you can still see stream is still on its way full corona around Lasco here. Looking at the Enril space weather prediction spiral here, you can see that there is a large cosmic blast sent a shock wave across the solar system headed right at that little green dot Earth. So not only were we expecting coronal or sorry, uh, space weather from the last week's CME, we have this coming in at the same time and we're looking here at an already erratic solar wind speed and density is dropping quickly so we will be expecting the space weather shortly i would not be surprised if we see some bursts in the next couple hours after this upload so around 6 p.m local time eastern looking here at the schumann resonance for today low power of eight and now let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours as it's been pretty busy most recent earthquake down here in Puerto Rico as still seeing a small swarm Puerto Rico also reported earlier today a little bit of swarming in Yellowstone we'll get to that in just a moment so Puerto Rico there, 2.7 recently, but earlier they did see a 3.2, 3.4, and a 3.6 in the last 24 hours, so very busy there. Central America here, 4.5, Ecuador, El Salvador, 4.4, and a 5.4, Mexico, 4.4 there, South Mexico, the Baja-Mexico border. And then a strange and rare earthquake here at 3.0 in Maine that is another volcanic field east coast which nobody really talks about very dormant volcanoes 3.2 reported there in South Dakota as well Bodie South Dakota rare spot so a couple rare earthquakes today happening in North America 2.6 there Idaho 3.7 Nevada and many earthquakes if you tune into the live stream I was showing earlier there were many earthquakes about 13 of them reported early this morning in the Yellowstone Lake as well here 5.3 largest the last 24 hours in Alaska which sent out a tsunami watch overnight 4.4 there in Japan 4.4 here Ternate Indonesia as well another 4.3 
5.3 reported here. Kermadak Islands, that was late yesterday. South America, tip with Antarctica, 4.9. Shetland Islands, 4.4. Chile, as well, the Kalama, 4.6. 4.7 reported here in Ecuador. Quiet across the African plate and into the Indian plate and Eurasia. Very quiet. Looking at the last seven days, a lot of deep earthquakes, South America and towards Alaska. And of course, the regular regions, West Ring of Fire. But seeing deep earthquakes increase throughout Alaska and watch for that to increase over the next little while as we have space weather affecting us and large low pressure systems in the area. So be prepared, stay safe, and fear nothing but fear itself. We are going through some great changes together. We need to adapt. Having, here, having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes being updated, Reventador in Ecuador, Era in Japan, Popocatépetl, Mexico, Fuego in Guatemala, Swiss in Ejima, Japan, Sangay in Ecuador, Dokono in Indonesia, Sabancaya in Peru, Ebico, Barren Island of Ang Volcano, and as well an avalanche reported in northern Alberta, Kootenay region of BC. So that's about 12 volcanoes being updated the last 24 hours. Add to that Kluchevskoy. Early this morning in the live stream, uh, one of the mods, Dan, Extreme Metal Vocals, he was watching many eruptions on Fuego and as well many other volcanoes around the world. Observing here, Tropical Cyclone Bungoyo who is heading towards Madagascar and as well the active Pinton de la Fornese volcano. Also observing here tropical storm number three. The other one has phased out and scooted across Australia. But watch for quite an extreme weather event here in parts of northwestern Australia along the coastline as this tropical storm comes in. Most likely will gain into a category two by the time it hits the coast. And it will bring a lot of rain. So watch for flash and flooding conditions. Northwestern Australia, central, moving southeast into Sydney. Five-day forecast here brought to you by Meteorworth, Meteo Mike. Starting out here at home base, Calgary, Alberta. As you can see, those temperatures dropping. Huge high-pressure polar vortex moving in from, as I said, the Siberian polar vortex is on its way. And it is moving in quick here across western Canada. And it's going to bring a little bit of snow, but mostly dry conditions across uh, the plains, central plains and eastward. Very cold temperatures, minus 41 parts of northwestern territories. And won't be reaching higher than minus five over the next five days here in Alberta. And then watch as a pretty strong system moves in from the Pacific, heads eastward to the Atlantic. Very strange system indeed. Watching it now spin over the west coast. We'll be penetrating the coastline tonight. Strong winds expected tomorrow through Colorado. As well, some snow. As these cold temperatures are starting to dip down and these vigorous low pressure systems are starting to penetrate the coastline. Watch for a lot of rain moving up the coast. BC and into Alaska. What is that? Saturday into Sunday. Definitely we'll see some pretty stormy conditions. And then the five day forecast here for that Pacific low moving in. Right into San Diego, San Fran. And then eastward through the United States Plains. Overlooking Europe, tons of rain, as I reported two days ago in the report. Still, not much has changed. The only thing that's changed is that this low pressure system north of you has gotten bigger and is grabbing more moisture from the north. 
So watch for cold temperatures to move in behind these storms. So long range forecast, watch for things to change across the United Kingdom and southward. But for now, the cold air just seems to be trapped up in Finland. Strong high pressure ridge there over Russia. As well, watch for this Mediterranean low to bring quite an extreme weather event or towards parts of Italy, Greece and into Turkey and then eastward into Saudi Arabia. Africa, not much to talk about. Daily evaporation rains. Madagascar, although will be receiving quite a bit of torrential and daytime evaporation rains throughout the week as that tropical storm heads towards Madagascar. And then here, five day forecast overlooking Australia. You can see that large swath of moisture coming straight down the center of Australia. Very strange weather indeed. Look at this tropical system head straight from the equator and down to Antarctica, right across the continent. Insane weather. Stay safe, my Australian friends, and stay aware and prepared, my friends and family around the world. We do have a couple tropical storms forming here. Central Pacific heading into northeastern Australia for the long range forecast. South America, daily evaporation rains, northern parts, but then watch for extreme weather to move in. Chile, Argentina border, border and northward to Bolivia, Paraguay, and into Brazil. Watch for flash flooding conditions because there will be some torrential downpours with this. And during that time, we do have the total solar eclipse happening, which is December 14th. That's coming up in five days. And if you want to check out, I will be a guest on Forbidden Knowledge News on that on that day, December 14th. So stay tuned, stay aware and prepared. Morning Dew is here for you. Thanks for watching. If you here looking at the major systems that will be affecting us in the long range forecast. Bye bye. Don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.